Now let's go ahead and try to build the xdebug extension. And I'm going to go ahead and launch a terminal window, which is under Applications Utilities. And I'm going to log into the super user account. So sudo-s or sudo-s and my password. OK, so now I have a command line prompt. And I'm going to cd to my home directory if I'm not there already and make dear an xdebug folder that I can work in. So I already have one, but there's not anything in there. So here's where I am on my machine. Um, you're under your user account. And uh, to get started, I'm going to go xdebug in Chrome, and that will give me a link to xdebug.org. And I'm going to go to this download page and to get xdebug, you want to use git. So I'm going to copy this command right here, clover c and clover v. So I don't have git installed on this machine yet, so I'm going to go ahead and click install, and I'm going to agree to the license. Okay, so git is installed, and we do an ls. So now I'm going to run git again, git clone. So it's downloading all the stuff I need. Okay, so now I should have the source. Yeah, so cd xdebug. So now I'm inside of an xdebug folder inside of my xdebug folder. And here's all the source code for xdebug. So I need to make the xdebug extension, but I also need to make sure that it matches my release of PHP, which is part of the XAMPP distribution. And uh, so there's a command called phpis that I can do to use to do that. Let me just check to see whether there are already Mac binaries available. So these all seem to be Windows binaries. Oh, well, that's too bad. OK, so let's see what we have on uh, XAMPP xdebug OS X. See if we can find some information. Yeah, so I need PHPIs. Let's see if it's in our path already, and if so, which one? So which PHPIs? OK, so that's in user bin, but that's not the right one. So what we want, find slash applications XAMPP grep PHPIs. OK. So this is the one we want, which is an application XAMPP, XAMPP files bin. So to make sure that it looks for that first, I want to add that to my path. So here's my path. And what I want to do is I want to put application XAMPP, XAMPP files bin in the front of this path. So to do that, I say export slash applications XAMPP, XAMPP files, bin, slash, and then colon, the contents of the existing path. Oh, let's see what we got here. Oh, I need to set path equal to that. All right, so path is equal to that, and I export it. So now, if I echo dollar sign path, good. So it has this path on the front before the other stuff. And if I say which, whoops, which PHPIs, good. Now it's finding the right one. I have an extra slash in there, so let me fix that. I'm going to close this window and start a new one sudo-s cd tilde slash xdebug 
xdebug, and then echo path, and then export path equal applications zamp zamp files bin colon dollar sign path and then which php eyes good so now it's finding the right one so let's see what we have here All right, so I think that I need to PHPIs first. So PHPIs in my xdebug folder. And it's uh, finding PHP API version 2015.10.12, which... So I need to install the build system as well. So... Okay, so here's a command line for doing what we want. So copy that and paste. And then, so that fetched it and then that unzipped it. So now we're gonna dot slash configure inside of autoconf. And then we'll make and make install. And then which autoconf? Good, so now we have an autoconf, so we'll go back up into our xdebug directory. So here's where we are. And now we're going to execute this command. Oh. First we need to php eyes. Okay, so this time we didn't get that error message, so it might have worked. So we should have a doc configure. Enable xdebug. And uh, PHP config is an application zamp zamp files bin PHP config, so that looks okay. We should just actually be able to say dot slash configure. I'll leave that enable xdebug in there. Okay, and then make and uh, so I should have some files in the modules folder here. Let's go ahead and just take a quick look at those warnings. They look okay. I mean, we'll see if we have the modules. So Let's just go here. So CD modules ls. Good. So we have that xdebug.so. That's what we need. And we need to put it in a specific place. So that's going to be in XAMPP. Oops, under applications. Applications. XAMPP, 
XAMPP files lib and then PHP extensions this no debug none ZTS 2015 10 12 that actually matches what we had before so here are all the SO files the extensions and this is where we want to put this extension as well so I'm gonna copy xdebug.so so you can copy both things to applications XAMPP XAMPP files lib PHP extensions and then no like so all right so now I have the xdebug.so in the right place then the next thing I have to do is enable it in the PHP init file so that's going to be under XAMPP Etsy php.ini I'm just going to double click to open that and then I'm going to scroll down until I see all the commented out extension directives Actually, I should just scroll. So let me scroll. There's a big block of extension directives. Oh, there they are. And they're all commented out. And I'm going to add a new one. Extension equal xdebug.so. And then I'm going to save that file, php.ini. Then I'm going to go back to OSX Manager. manager dash osx and manage servers I'm gonna stop Apache and then I'm gonna start it it's running I don't see anything bad in the application log and I'm also going to look at under logs, PHP error log. And at the end, it says xdebug must be loaded as a Zend extension. Let's go ahead and go to localhost here and go to PHP info. Search for xdebug. Okay, so there's an xdebug block, and it has all the stuff in here. So that's good. So that means it actually loaded the extension. If you see all this stuff in your PHP info, that means it loaded the extension. Now we just need to set the correct settings. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, back in OSX Manager, I'm going to stop Apache again. And then I'm going to get into the core shell. So let me log in here. My.pcc.edu. I'm going to log in. And then go to Desire to Learn. Find the 195p course shell. And we'll go to Content, Installation. Okay, so here's the stuff that I need. So I'll go ahead and copy all that. And then that's what goes in my php.ini. So I'm gonna, in addition to this extension equal xdebug.so, at the very bottom, I'm just gonna go ahead and add all that stuff and save again. 
And then I'm going to restart Apache. Okay. And let's look at the PHP log one more time. Okay, so just warnings, but it seems to be okay. So that should be everything for, I'm gonna just go ahead and reload PHP info, and I still have the Xdebug stuff here. So that should be everything you need to get Xdebug working in uh, PHP on OS X.